So you want to be a clean modeler. If you're listening to this, you've decided to take that journey and it's time to look at our options. All right. First off, let's get rid of stuff we don't need. So I would say we don't need that, that, probably not that either. Let's see. Probably not. Control backspace. Uh, there's a few edges in here that are missing now because this is the original piece. So I'm going to drop those back in like that one. And we're going to have to fix a few of these little points that kind of cross and over. And let's see here. What else don't we need? We won't need that. We won't need that. Uh, but you know what? This would probably be good if we just went ahead and did a collapse. So we kept one in the center. I like to have one in the center just to give me that 180 degree curve in between there. Uh, well, it's, I would say the same thing here. We can actually um, we can actually go ahead and just take this guy here. Maybe, oops, move it down. There we go. Something like that. That should be fine. And let's see what else we can remove. We have, we need the corner one and we need a corner one up here. And then I would say one in the middle back here for sure. Uh, but to uh, cleanly move a lot of these edges over, we're just going to basically, um, we're just going to cut across. And then for right now, actually I'll do the uh, collapse on this as well. So we'll just go ahead and hit collapse, move that to the middle. And I think we're pretty good for right now. Yeah, I'm going to leave that one there. All right, so now we are at a place where we say, hey, you know, we, we need to clean this up. We've got good holding edges most of the places. Um, we do have a couple that need to be fixed, so let's go ahead and fix this one. Let's see here. That's the wrong one. So there's a little trick in my, like, you can see how they highlight. I'm not actually over it. It's just going to highlight to like the closest one. So sometimes even if you can't, if there's two sitting on top of each other, you can actually get uh, the other one by just kind of adjusting your cursor a little bit. So those are some pro tips. And let's see here. Okay. So what I like to do is basically make a decision about like where I'm going to cut and go this way and then where I'm going to cut and go this way. And so right here between these two verts, I think that's going to be my bottom section. So I'm going to go ahead and just lay a uh, edge loop in here. So if you can't see it, it's going to be like right here. But to make this easier, um, I can actually just take this whole side here and just delete everything except for except for this little part right here. Okay, so now when I work, I'll be centered around this thing, and I won't have to deal with all the goofy edges going off to the edit, off to the side. So uh, let's get going. I'm going to kind of go through this fast, so it's not too tedious because it is kind of a tedious task if you're going to clean this stuff up properly. So I'm basically just cutting across. And, you know, I'll admit that uh, sometimes you don't know exactly how your plan is going to go. So you might, you know, you might do something and then decide later, oh, well, I could have done it differently or whatever. Um, and that may happen. So we'll see. Um, see, like even right here, you know, like I was making a plan to do it one way, but now that I'm looking at it, uh, I think this will meet up better. Um, and that's okay. I'll find a way to tie this in. In fact, I see how I can tie it in already, but I'll leave that to later. So let's tie this to here. So now we're getting just all quads. We definitely need one right here to tie this in. And let's see here. So uh, let's try this. Let's go there. See how that works out later. You know, sometimes it's a, it's kind of a adventure. You don't always know exactly how it's going to work out. 
like right here I can tie this right into there so this was a triangle right here so now that I added that onto there I can basically just pull this vert back and now it's a quad and you can see you have like an edge flow now going from here to there okay so these are all quads except for this guy right here which I will eventually come and probably pull that all the way up to the top to this one um, I could do it now but I then I'm gonna have to cut through it and I just don't want to deal with that right now so because I'm going to be doing more cuts going this way so um, let's just keep moving forward let's see what else we got up here so this is um, like I said gets tedious but it is part of modeling if you're going to do stuff really clean and hopefully my talking won't get too annoying try to do as much meat and potatoes as I can oops come on let's try that one more time there we go and it's perfectly fine to add a a loop in here and there if you're not low poly modeling you know you can just kind of add a couple things in it's not going to kill anything there's one right on the top which we'll see what that'll tie into I'll leave that one for now I'm gonna drop one right here join that up to that So there is one option. I could just like basically take this whole side and sort of drag it this way and then flatten it out. Um, it's a fair enough way to do it, uh, but I'm gonna have to clean it up anyway. So I guess that's why I'm just going through and, and doing it one by one. Maybe that way would be faster. Uh, so if that's your decision, but there's still gonna be some cleanup one way or the other. Let's take this one up to here. I think that might work. We'll see. So I can't add or you typically don't want to add to the curved edges because those are going to smooth correctly. Um, but adding to a flat side like this doesn't hurt it at all because it's already flat. It doesn't, you're not going to see any difference in it. So that's why I basically start from the finished end and work my way out away from it. I didn't like how that one went. It's like jamming on me there. It doesn't want to move right. I'm not sure why. Oh, that one I didn't hit the vert. That's another thing that you can run into when you're using the cut tool. Sometimes it won't hit the verts. That's why merge vertices becomes your friend. That one's sticking again too. Not sure why some of these are they stick. And maybe it's my mouse. Maybe my mouse is dirty or something. And it's just not registering the move. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. We'll have to deal with some of these in here. Not a big deal. Let's see here. Uh, so, you know, an easy solution to some of these is I can just go kind of like this. Uh, let's snap one to the middle. Oops, let's do that one more time. Let's snap one to the middle, and then I'm going to just take this edge, do a little bevel on it, like so. 
Eh, I didn't like how that did that. Okay, so forget that idea. Let's get rid of this. I went too far back. There we go. So let's just do it this way. We'll go one there and one there. And then we can cut these right to it. something like that. So now you can see how this is getting pretty nice and even and it's starting to uh, just kind of balance itself out. So and we kind of got that going on here. Not totally. Um, I'm kind of feeling confident now about running this edge down here. I think I'm getting closer. All right, let's move this to here. this one and then we'll take this one here if I can get it to stick there there we go and we'll run that all the way up to this one here okay so at this moment I believe we are in all quad shape and let's see here is that a quad oh we're missing one. Oh yeah we're missing some right here oops so well, let's just continue this one all the way up like so totally miss these Maybe go like that. And let's see here. We can take this one across here. And maybe take this one up. Let's see if we got space. Oh yeah, plenty of space. Plenty of space there. Alright, there we are. Now I think we're in quads all quads yep 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 and just for a good measure I'm gonna grab all the verts and do a weld on a very low threshold so I think that's probably gonna be fine yeah no, it doesn't look like anything that's close to other verts is welding together so the reason why I'm doing this is just uh, here let's see W, let's see, do we, yep, see there was 333 if you look up at the heads up display, and then when I, after I merged, it was 331, so a couple of verts got merged together that were astray, if you will. Um, this area right here, let's see what happens when I smooth this, so let's go ahead and just hit F3, and that's actually holding pretty good, I'm not worried about it. Okay, so you can see this looks pretty pretty darn clean. Everything seems to be fenced pretty well. Um, our only elongated polys are here. And if you want to make the mesh look more even, you could easily just add in a few edges. You know, it's not going to be the end of the world. This is a high poly mesh anyway, so you can just say, oh, I'll add one in there. And I'll add one in here. And now it'll be nice and straight. And then you just check it out again. And voila. That looks pretty sweet. Okay, well, the next part is the easiest part, which is to just uh, take these edges and extrude them out. Come on, Maya. There we go. Maya runs a little slow when uh, I'm uh, video recording. It's always kind of been that way. So we got that. And then we can go ahead and just drop an edge loop right here, just to hold it. Take this, this guy right here and do our mirror. And it's going to drive me nuts because the mirror thing keeps opening up huge. But what the heck, we need to do it again. Wow, look at that. You know what? Maybe what I'm doing is I should just go mirror and get the little option box here. 
and go positive because I don't need all that other stuff. There we go. Somebody grew a brain. Yay. Okay. Oh, it made it two objects, didn't it? Well, whatever. Let's just combine them. And then we'll grab these vertices and merge. And then we'll take the object and we will go to mesh display, soften edge. And if we've done everything correctly, even when the edge is soft, it should look very nice, very nice and beveled, which it most certainly does. So there you go. 15 minutes to make a super clean looking piece and you know not so hard to do so all right that's it and uh i guess the next thing would be is to unwrap this guy so that'll be a different uh, lesson than today this is just a modeling lesson hope you enjoyed this thank you for watching and happy modeling